Welcome back, everyone, to another great episode of Sellers Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we are dealing with infamous P0302 misfire in cylinder two. So let's jump in it, see what's going on, and get my Ford Explorer back on the road without the misfire. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sell This Flipping Cars. Today we're fixing a 2017 Ford Explorer engine misfire caused by a bad spark plug in cylinder number two on the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. If your Explorer is idling rough, losing power, or flashing that check engine light, this video will walk you through how to find the issue, confirm the code, and fix it the right way. Now before we get started, this guide applies not only to the 2017 Ford Explorer, but to any model equipped with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. That includes 2011 to 2019 Ford Explorers, F-150s, Ford Flex, Taurus Shows, and the Lincoln MKT slash MKS with the same V6 setup. So if you're running one of those, you're in the right place. First up, we're going to diagnose the issue using our OBD2 code reader. It's one of the most valuable tools you can have as a DIY mechanic. I've dropped a link down below in the video description that takes you straight over to sellthisflippingcards.com where you can grab the same reader I'm using today. Once it's plugged in, we'll scan for the trouble codes. In this case, we're looking for P0302, which tells us there's a misfire in cylinder number two. That's our starting point. Now, let's find cylinder two. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 is mounted sideways, transversely, in the Ford Explorer, in several other vehicles as well. The serpentine belt is on the passenger side of the vehicle. That means bank one, which includes cylinders one, two, and three, is on the rear of the engine, the side facing the firewall. Bank two, which holds cylinders four, five, and six, is at the front of the vehicle, facing the radiator. So cylinder two is located on the rear bank, right in the middle position. It's a little tight to reach, but with patience and the right tools, and a little bit of know-how, you can get to it, no problem. Now that we found cylinder two, it's time to replace the spark plug that's been causing our misfire. Start by removing the engine cover, disconnecting the battery, just the negative side, and then you can disconnect the ignition coil in cylinder two. You're going to slide the red clip back and then squeeze the connector together and it will pull right off. And there you go. Your connector is off. Next, we will need to grab an 8mm socket to remove the 8mm bolt holding the ignition coil on. After removing the ignition coil, we can go ahead and grab our spark plug socket to remove the old spark plug. Also, make sure you inspect it for wear, oil fouling, or carbon buildup. All these are signs of the 2017 Ford Explorer engine misfiring or having ignition issues. Now it's time to install your new spark plug. Make sure you torque it to spec and then you can reinstall your ignition coil. Also, make sure all of your connections are refastened and tight and secure. The ignition coil connector, make sure you place the red clip back into the locked position as well. Once everything's back together, you can then plug in your OBD2 code scanner and clear all the codes that you have stored. Then you can start your engine. 
you should notice a much smoother idle. No more hesitation and that check engine light should stay off. So what's next? Remember, if one spark plug has failed, the others are not far behind. That's why in our next video, we'll be replacing all six spark plugs in this 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss that upload. If you need more help with your repairs on your 2011 to 2019 Ford Explorer or any other vehicle with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, check out our EcoBoost playlist right here on the channel. We've got guides on timing chain replacements, valve covers, sensors, and much more. All to help you save money and fix it right the first time. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and remember, Fix it right, save that money, and as always, keep on wrenching everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.